Hello Galaxy Heroes. Before I forget, I've got to say uh, thank you to you Marvelo ESH. Uh, I'll be sure to actually credit him on the video before it's published. Um, the reason I'm thanking him is because I was looking for a way that I could use Darth Vader in uh, the tier two of Forest Moon. Um, and clear it so basically not have to use the thrawn lead and four droids i wanted to try and use empire this okay so i've done it in reverse order so what you see in here is a bigger mistake don't do it it is really really frustrating and unfortunately it's going to take a little while to get to why it's really frustrating um but uh, i just wanted to see this is this is the Omega one so whatever this one gets the title for but basically it gives you two Omegas uh, so in scale this is the easiest of the three and <laughs> I wanted to see if I could get a Krennic lead to actually clear this so um spoiler alert this is the first of two krennic leads because i'm actually also going to use krennic on the tier one challenge and then finally we get back to why i'm thanking you marvelo esh which is the comp that he posted on reddit about being able to do it in four minutes uh second spoiler alert it takes more than four minutes and for me and um not only does it take more than four minutes uh, but that's also speeded up so that gives some indication of just how bad i need to learn if anyone wants to tutor me on how to get the best out of vader it's taking me a very long time i'm I, it's frustrating to me that i am programmed to keep doing the same thing over and over again until finally someone kind of voices some common sense into me about you realize that this is wrong this is wrong change your speeds do this attack them do this there whatever um yeah yeah sometimes i really do need kind of spoon feeding information to for it finally to sink in so um you're now probably seeing the frustration that i had in the final round the fact that they keep and i i i don't know why uh, I'd forgotten about the foresight that they all keep bringing up. And of course, the only real, well, the only dispeller I have is my um, my death trooper. And it's, you know, he dispels and then they throw up all this green crap again. And we start all over again and we've got more buffs galore and it's making it more and more difficult to land debuffs but if we land debuffs and then manage to hit them then we will or we have a very high percentage chance under this krennic lead of actually ability blocking them now yay you, this now is going to speed up a little bit because of course we've got rid of the reviver however they're still throwing up all this green crap and um getting me kind of at it uh, just chasing around um yeah pick someone already so but i wanted to see again if i could do this without thrawn as well um so uh hence what i was saying about uh, i i wouldn't recommend you try this one if you do try this one change some st stuff around um, and yeah, probably drop Tarkin, slap in Thrawn, actually probably drop Pilot and slap in Thrawn, uh, at least then you got two Dispellers, uh, something like that. Maybe I'll try that next time around. Who knows? I, I, I highly doubt it because this was just too, too frustrating. Again, with the foresight. Um, oh. See, I'm a hypocrite. I am so anti-foresight when I'm trying to hit tunes, and I'm so grateful to foresight when I'm trying to protect my tunes so that they can hit the other tunes. 
So, yeah, I realise that there is kind of like a hypocrisy there. I'm trying to become older and wiser and not just get really annoyed at teams I can't beat, but to actually appreciate the crafting and the modding and the investment that's taken place to be in that position in the first place. There you go. Double use of the word place. Yay! So we're done there. We got the two Omegas. So this time round, Vader's there, Thrawn's there, Death Trooper's there. And I think I've finally uh, worked a bit on my Shore Trooper. Uh, my Shore Trooper was Relic 2 and I've now taken Shore up to Relic 4. Four or five. It's one of those two. Vader is Relic 7. Thrawn, I think, is Relic 3. Krennic is Relic 2 with the lead Zeta, hence the ability blocks on debuffed characters. And also, if you're noticing that Shore Trooper keeps gaining health, or they all keep gaining health. Is it health or protection? I, I forget. Uh, there's protection. If they hit someone with a debuff or something, they gain 10% protection back, which is, again, part of it all. So the idea here is that all the work isn't left to Vader to ability block. Um, that's the thought process. Um, I have recordings of trying to use variations of this none of which have been uploaded because they're exceptionally quick videos because they are epic epic fails haven't found a comp yet where i could do this to uh, a ray team and i'm thinking more and more realistically uh this is a zeta that i probably shouldn't have done i.e the one on krennic unless of course uh we start getting a rebel resurgence and never say never we may get a rebel resurgence and if so empire are are great against them so you know who knows so this is kind of the acid test now um can we get through this phase if we can get through this phase this is tier one by the way if we can get through this then we should be home and dry however of course Vader is not in the lead, so they can dispel all those lovely damage over times that we're slapping on. But boom, we're through that round, which should mean now that we're okay. As long as we can inflict debuffs, uh, we can get Shaw. And as you can see, Shaw's kind of healing up. I think I did use Thrawn on Shaw a few times just to kind of ensure... Oh, wow. Poor choice of words. Just to... I can't think of another word. There we go. Hopefully we've had a long enough pause just to make sure that Shaw survives through to the end. So we're up to six of eight. Again, just a reminder, this is the tier one uh, challenge. Um, it's, it's tricky enough. You've still got to kind of work at it, although... There are lots of comps which will breeze through this. Uh, yes, I am aware of that. Again, I, <coughs> excuse me. My intention for all three of these was to do it without using Thrawn lead and a load of separatist droids. I use those words carefully. So we're on to seven of eight, um, deliberating on how much I need to save on the abilities on Vader. Um, I think I do try and save some, but you see in all this super green, all the healing and everything that's coming through, it's lovely. So here we go. So this is um, an upscaled version. So we're facing, what was it, six of them? And um, yeah. This can be quite a pain. There goes the foresight again. Uh, but now we've got the real, it, the, the real problematic tune, which is Ewok Elder, as far as I'm concerned, because you can kill them all. If you don't kill Elder, they're all coming back, and they're all coming back pretty much turn meter loaded, 
and you're going to be um, frustrated and having to go through it all again. So that's my reasoning. Get him gone, and yeah, you know, I'm pretty confident now that that we've done this. We've got through the worst of it, and there's not many left. Uh, it's still annoying that the low grey's banging on these. Uh, there we go. Death Trooper for the last kill. So, oh, I missed out the rewards. Never mind. That, that was tier two. Here's the one that I'm thinking, and I do remember E Marvelo ESH on Reddit posted about four minutes under this with this comp. Cheers, mate. It worked a treat, uh, even though I'm sure there are a catalogue of errors on my behalf on getting through this. Uh, spoiler alert, obviously. I do make it through. So, um, going back to my previous thing, there is not one separatist droid here. The uh, Thrawn is not in the lead spot. Yes, BB-8 is there, but so is C-3PO, and uh, therefore it, no sepi droids whatsoever. Uh, no tank. That's also, you know, kind of something to be noted. So everyone's exposed at the beginning. If they get the turn meter train running, um, you know, that they can they can choose who they want to hit. Uh, we'll, we'll remove sometimes C3 won't be an option when, um, when stealthed, obviously. But... Ugh. So we're already through. The other thing is, is yeah, and and as um, Marvelo mentions, you know, the, the speed of it. I mean, I know that I've I've done it a lot slower than he cleared it. Um, I'll go back to the fact that I really do need to learn how to. I'm I'm frustrated. If out of anything at the moment, my Vader frustrates me. I see all these videos of Vader massacring left, right, and centre. Rays and Kylos, and as yet, I just haven't been able to produce that, and so therefore, um, yeah, I'm I'm a bit frustrated. So anywhere where I can get to use him, I'm going to use him. Um, I am slowly learning that you want to saber toss the ones that are still got the massacre mark on it because that increases the the damage considerably. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, slowly, slowly learning. Uh, so we're through to, the again, the make or break round. So we've held on to Thrawn's Fracture. I don't think I've used it as yet. And we also have the fact that Vader's Merciless Madness will also, I believe, bring everyone out of stealth. So even if they do stealth... Um, there we go. We've got the Fracture on. Even if they do stealth shouldn't hopefully be too much of a problem as long as we can get that merciless madness out of well out ability block down and boom uh, i made sure they're belts and braces as they say so uh yeah i just wanted tebow definitely down hence using the fracture for the second time i uh, don't really need the fracture now until maybe the the final round um, so now we can just work our way through and yeah kill lots of Ewoks with uh, different composition which does allow obviously the caveats here I suppose are that you need Merciless Madness Merciless Massacre on Darth Vader and ideally, you need as many of these tunes relics as possible just to withstand any crap coming back at you. Um, so this time around, actually just going through uh, Palps, obviously, the reason I say obviously is he's a requirement and I do have both Galactic Legends. He needs to be at Relic 7. I believe BB-8 needed to be at Relic 7 for Ray, So BB-8 also is 7. Darth Vader is also Relic 7. 
And uh, I also believe, I know Thrawn and Vader definitely are full six E's. Um, Palps, not full six E's. I'm not sure about BB-8. I think I may have six E'd BB-8, but I know that my R2 as well has a mixture, has a few six E's, uh, but mostly six E's. Yeah, mostly five A's. So not the maxed uh, mod level you can get to, but it works. It really does. Sorry, I'm just taking a slurp of tea for before the final round gets here. So again, this is the tier two one. I know uh, I'm very late in posting this. I did this quite a while ago. However, there's been territory wars and I've had my arena climb. In fact, I've already uploaded my arena climb. So, um, so I've got that out already. But I just wanted to share this with you. Uh, yeah, and the fact that I actually found a use already. Um, fortunately, it's PvE use rather than PvP. Um, but, you yeah, know, but... I'll persevere if if comps come up that that can utilize that Krennic lead happy happy days so on to no that's it done thank you for watching